Hey human, so today I am doing a thing that I asked you guys for input on a while ago, and that is Ensemble Star Confessions. Um, don't forget that there are also Genshin Impact Confessions and Twisted Wonderland Confessions. I'll get to those eventually, maybe. I think the post is still up, so I'll put the link in the description. So it's not too late for you to add your own submissions. I might put the kibosh on it soon because last time I checked, we had like 60 Ensemble Star ones, which is a lot to go through. So I'm not gonna go through all of them today, but if you wanna contribute still, you can. Um, also, I did film one of each of those already with my older brother. However, I honestly, like, he just isn't familiar with, like, the stuff, so it really just felt more like me explaining everything to him. And because you people are fans of the things, you're going to know them already, so it kind of just felt like a waste of time to, like, explain it, you know? So, no offense, big brother, I still love you if you're watching this, but the vibe just felt a little off. So, I'm going to read them. And also, I don't know how this is going to turn out because I'm filming right now, but if you like the format of me reading them and reacting to them, let me know. But I also considered like just putting them through text to speech and kind of just like having them on the screen like a slideshow. Um, so yeah, if you'd like me to like do the next one in that format, just so you can see and then we could have like a vote on what you prefer, let me know. I'm also open to that. I think I might do that now that I'm saying it right now. I don't know I'm very indecisive we'll find out when we get there but yeah without further ado Ensemble Stars Confession I have seen some of these so if my reaction seems like non-existent that is why also out of the few that I have seen there are some that I literally cannot read y'all are down bad um but yeah now without further ado let me actually get into the Ensemble Stars Music <laughs> I would love to hit Shu Itsuki with a bus. I see Truck-kun has made his entrance. Why every time I watch what your favorite OnStars character tells about you kind of video, they always say that Eden Pierre are horny AF. Like, I know there is some fan service going on, but it's not we sim for Eden just because they're hot. Or is it just me? Plus, I don't like how they say Huri is- I can't say that, oh my gosh. Leo's Japanese voice in the anime sounded so weird. Like, where did the Uchu energy go? So I deleted the video because I needed space on my iPad. But when my brother and I read that the first time, we literally like went to YouTube trying to find a clip of Leo just speaking in the Japanese version. Couldn't find it. Um, I didn't hear him say Uchu. I would put it in, but I'm scared of Happy Ellen striking me again. So, so y'all who do remember his voice in the anime, thoughts? Because I, I genuinely do not remember. I like don't really have a frame of reference anyways, but mm. Standing Wataru so hard. No thought. Wataru is hebe keying through my head. I love that long-haired bestie. Not gonna lie, after the current event, hebe hebe keying in my mind too. Uh, yes, here's the one I can't read. Anyways. Honestly, Tatsumi is very sus, and I feel like his priest appearance is just a facade to make him seem like a great guy. I will bet he will betray Alkaloid and On Square at one point. Yeah, I don't trust Jesus Boy. No one should trust him. Anyways, stand rabbits and eat it, even though they have issues. Well, do I have news for you? Rusei deserves more attention, and when I say Rusei I mean all of Rusei not just Chiaki and Kanata. Honestly, Hard agree. Hard, hard, hard agree. I feel like people only care about Chiaki, Kanata, and sometimes Midori. Like, where's the Tetera and Shinobu love? Like, Tetera, I don't talk about him very much, and I feel like this is gonna be a shock to a lot of you, but Tetera is my favorite member of Rusei Tai. I do not talk about him enough, but when that first tour event happened and he was the five star, it was a no brainer for me. I love him so much. He's so funky, he's so passionate, and I just love me little passionate dudes. He's so funky. Also, his red streak does do wonders. Like, listen, listen. He got cat teeth and a red streak. We love him. We stand Tetera in this house. Is it named Tetora? Am I just saying his name wrong? Tetera. It's not even there. Hold up. Tetora. Tetera. Teto. Whatever. I'll say it how I want, and you guys can get mad at me in the comments. Don't correct me. I don't care. <laughs> Tetera, Tetora, Tetera, Tetera, 
Tetris. Easy me is for real such a king and I swear anytime I see people call him a yandere, it makes me die inside. Like he has issues and there are reasons why he acts the way he does. They basically just throw away his actual story and reduce him to a yandere. Some apply to Ritsu. Makes me mad for real for real. Listen, I know some of y'all are about to be real mad at me, but also you shouldn't be surprised because I literally brand myself as a Nizumi apologist. Like he's not a yandere. He's crazy, but he's not a yandere. He kidnapped Makoto. Wait, actually, no, he did threaten to kill Anzu, huh? Maybe he is a Yandere. Ignore me. <laughs> but Ritsu has threatened, like, to kill people. In fact, he did threaten to kill his beloved. We stand character development. Tomoya not boring. You ri- <laughs> Tomoya not boring, you Rinakin. Okay, let's be real. Nobody literally produces for Tetera and Tomoya and that quacking upsets me. Like, hello, they exist? I don't think I've ever met a Tetera producer. I have met Tomoya ones. Not gonna lie, they pretty sus. I don't trust them. I don't trust, I don't trust Tomoya P. And listen, I'm sure you're great people, but I don't trust you. Due to legal reasons, that was a joke. And we have um, a long one. I will in fact read it. Uh, something funny slash horrifying. I told my non-on-story friend before they watched the anime as a joke that canonically Karu was a- I don't think I can read that. Guys, this is 10 out of 10, the best confession I've gotten so far. Kao Yuzu. And that's it. That's the video. <laughs>